start this church service by seeing page 283, yesterday, today, forever. Verses 1, 3, and 4. Page 283 in a dark blue somber. Verses 1, 3, and 4. <laughs>
475 redeemed. Church cleaning, please have the cleaning done the prior Sunday you sign up for. Continue reading in Revelation, <coughs> verse by verse for understanding. Pray for all church members and their families, recoveries of those dealing with sickness. Pray for the United States Navajo Nation, Arizona Navajo Nation leaders. Pray for revival in our country during this time. We have an opportunity to help and witness to someone else. And now we'll be singing on page 498 when we all get to heaven. Verses 1, 3, and 4. Verses 1, 3, and 4 on page 493. 498. Verses 1, 3, and 4. Verses 1, 3, and 4. Thank you.
Amen. And as soon as I hear all getting closer, uh, that's good. Good singing. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, turn our Bibles to Hebrew chapter number 10. And we'll be reading uh, some uh, verses there. All right. Uh, that be good. I'm still locating my, my place. All right, 19 through 25 on this. Uh, having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Amen by a new and living way which he had consecrated for us, through the veil that is to say his flesh, and having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in the full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he he for he is faithful that promise, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but that Zordon as uh, one another, and uh, so much the more as you see that they approaching. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for the hour that we're going to have this morning. We pray for our hearts. Uh, forgive us our sins if we have uh, something that's in the way. Uh, of our hearing and uh, reception and help us. Thank you. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. This is uh, something about uh, uh, you know the church. You know we call uh, actually this word participation has to do with the word fellowship. Yeah. Back in the first John 1, 4 and 5, I believe, it says that we have fellowship with the Father and with the Son and then all the Christians. And uh, it's good to be part of something Amen. and uh, to be involved. But, uh, to, you know, we sang this morning. That, well, that was a good singing. Yes. You know, that, that, that really that gets you excited. You, you, you don't know what it's going to sound like in heaven. Amen. It might be greater than what we're uh, making noise down here, but in heaven you want to hear some uh, good singing, and uh, maybe if you're losing your voice, you might get that back, and you'll be singing loud, yeah, and that'd be good, yeah. So, the corner of the church in the church in the church in the a <laughs> And uh, so uh, we began uh, this uh, thinking here about not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together near. You know, if you fail to show, then it, uh, you know, it affects other people, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> if you're there, you're going to have a good time. And uh, you're going to hear something, you're going to do something. 
that might help somebody in the world, yeah, I call it uh, maybe in the, in the Christian world. And that's why uh, you're going to have some uh, positive impact on people that sees you, yeah, uh, in the yeah. And uh, my number one uh, uh, thought there is the danger of not being in church. Yeah, for sake not the assembly. I don't have to if God told you something, he got to have a reason. And that's why we're going to look at uh, Matthew 7 and verse number 24. And then Matthew says, Oh, the church so a pan of one long for even the year called the called Sauto Nietzsche, even the year that we're here, uh, that something uh, can be accomplished and maybe uh, help somebody. I call it Heda Nia. John Go Aya. Good to have Kevin this morning. You know, that uh, he, I haven't seen him in quite a while. And uh, he's a good brother, Yaakov. Yeah. When he's here, it's good. And we, we, we enjoy your fellowship. We get to know uh, how it is uh, you are doing uh, out in the world, yeah. Uh, uh, eight, uh, he, I don't think uh, he, he would uh, ever be sad. Uh, you just see him and then he'll be smiling. You know, that, that's what we need, yeah. Yes. Somebody that has that kind of attitude. It brings uh, your, your, your spirit up. I see uh, Oh, and the uh, Matthew 7, 24, didn't he? It says, Therefore, whosoever heareth uh, these saying of mine, and do with them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon the rock, yeah, on the rock of Jesus Christ, the rock of the Word of God, yeah. And that's what we need, yeah. that's why we're here. Uh, we need to know Jesus, we need to follow Jesus, and then we need to read the book, we need to have a, uh, a solidified faith, yeah, I said that Zilo. And he ought not at all. Let your heaven yet need Verse 26. And everyone that hear these sayings of mine and do them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the flood came, floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon the house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it, Nina. I couldn't hold one, no, 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 no. That's a card or a liar, a jar. God has to ask you, but he has to have you. Now that I say, the card, a liar, a yakon, a yakon. A shay at Ado, to be stout out of a kid. Uh, 
تحكي ايه شيء هاب سين ذا ان اور نيوز ان كاليفورنيا اي بليف ان ان سم بليسز لايك ميسيسيبي ان ايفن ران ان اريزونا يو هاب سي ا هاوس فلوتين داون ذا ريفر يا ان ذا ان ذا ان ذا فلوتس ا فلاش فلوت اي هاد لي بوي كينز ات ها ايس جو هوت او اي ات او تو تو كاب زاتو بي واجي لا كو كو جو اي كو تو نيف جو اي بي نا اي بي كس هات look at uh, just an example for a quick uh, we have gone through the book of Rome, uh, first Corinthians and they had a lot of problems and then uh, this is uh, just one instance in uh, chapter 3 verse 1 uh, he said and I brethren could not speak unto you as unto spiritual meaning that the person has grown and but not but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ, meaning that they have not grown much. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto ye were not able to bear, bear it, neither yet now are you able with it. With it with and then the, they even had uh, preferences, look at it in verse 5. Who then is Paul, who is a Paulus, but the minister by whom he believed, even as the Lord gave to every man, Benda, uh, 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 Sandi, what are we, Becky Sahid, Yakona, Adonas, it called a preference for Yaki by a taste. أهو تبي هوت أو أي تي توت لانش توزن سير أي أشي كوين سان شو تنيسه أتو عند هالنا عند تي دي نيسه توتو نيسه نيسه we don't have that problem here at Cedar Ridge I usually select the 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 preachers and the person that has asked me to preach tomorrow probably doesn't have doesn't have that kind of problem. Because he's the one that asked me to come. And uh, so it ought to be, if you're a leader, a shepherd, and you know how to guide your sheep, yeah. And uh, unless uh, uh, there's no growth, uh, you'll have no service, you'll be backslidden, you'll be cold, and you'll be defeated, yeah. Hey, what are there? A lot of people, uh, Christian, that uh, Oh, deep, eh, yeah, that, no, 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 جو چون نوبان شی تا هو ایت آخه چون زنگی است و پرفرت سان نگی ایکون آخه تو کار اند نگی ایت آخه سی ات هی دوست نه دوست کی زنگی شی چون نوبان شی ایچو خوشی ات ایسیا. And so the danger is there that you might not grow, yeah. Danger. And then the two is the number two is the duty of being in church. You know the duty. You know I like the duty. Uh, uh, if you are a worker, you like to do your duty. Uh, you got to, you got to please your boss. In general, أكو أي يكون بناش نسيب كتوش بسوته شو زنزون شو هت أو أي it worked for me like that when I used to be a coal miner actually the superintendent of the mine told me you can take your Wednesday day off and have your prayer meeting and so I did 
and he knew I was a Christian. And uh, so, you know, you bless your boss, you have your own children. So, so even in Nadi, Church Nata, a was eight, it's going to bless somebody. And uh, that's why we read in uh, verse 22 24. Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance in faith of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise as the Lord. And let us consider one another provoke to provoke Unto love and to good works. Uh, or that, that, that's it. To be in church is something, you know. Uh, it ought to bless uh, somebody to, to just to be in church, yeah. Amen. Uh, even you call that. Uh, and, uh, and it's going to help somebody. Uh, even uh, just goodness, yeah. yeah. Uh, look at verse 22. A, uh, that word uh, with a true heart, yeah, in full assurance of faith. You know, why can you you get a true heart, yeah, mm. under a preaching, yeah, yes. uh, under some singing, under some uh, giving and a tithes and offering, yeah, under uh, sitting together and uh, just. Uh, try to encourage one another. Call Amen. No, uh, that that it, that shows me that you 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 like what you hear. Yeah, uh, you want to do what you hear. You want to see some result. Even not. Amen. Is it? Ah, Chicago. What all? A lunch and a be shana sadly chunzoda. A what all? Amen. That ni he da one. Uh, in John, uh, the, the person I'm sure is not a fake, yeah. Uh, that person is going to be true, yeah. And then, uh, the, the next thing that it says in verse 22 is uh, uh, free, uh, actually, having our hearts sprinkled from. An evil conscience, a true heart, a con, a tanaskis, a true one, a case of the ado, ado, and the wash in the pure water, a con, the word of God, the Holy Spirit, is the water. And uh, so, we have that. Uh, Evil conscience and true ones are case a a a ten. So even the yeah, that's why we're here. Uh, we're learning. We're trying to see uh, what what is here for us because uh, we don't want to think bad. Yeah, we don't want to go home and shoot somebody. And that's why you, that's not what you're here for. Uh, you're not here to. Uh, get mad at somebody somewhere and uh, you ought to be something somebody even again John on send the case to this when you get the way for the church in the yard of heart that they the never said that this thought you know that never you keep it you know when you get church up on the has your in so how case if you in the whole lot of this Proverbs 23 and verse number Seven, get yeah. twenty-three, twenty-seven, twenty-three, seven, yeah, twenty-three, seven. For as he thinketh in his heart, Nila, so is he. Uh, eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Yeah. You get invited to eat with somebody, that, that person may not like you. They just want to fool you. Mm -hmm. uh, on the note, uh, yeah. 
And, uh, you know, somebody is going to say, hey, uh, he, he has a, a real intent inside of him. And then they will uh, fool you by saying, hey, let's go eat. And then uh, you say at the gospel, I'm sure you'll get in trouble yeah. Uh, get out of here, you don't need. And for Edo, though, in that, no, they don't uh, appreciate you, yeah. And uh, that's uh, the truth. There are some people out there that don't don't care who you are. They might uh, smile at you and love you a little bit. And uh, really, they don't want uh, to help you or be blessed by you. Oh, even in, uh, you know, some people will disdain uh, the church of God, defraud or destroy the church of God, yeah. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to a koho e hot e hege don li da don jono jono ke so you gon think clean, you gon promote something that's good uh, church attendance, and then back at our reading in uh, in uh, Hebrew chapter, I need to put a spacer in there so I can uh, flip back easily. Okay, twenty. 20 and verse number 23. Okay, well, no, yeah. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith, Nila. Don't give it up. You know, Timothy chapter 4 1 says, Some will depart from the faith, Nila. I mean, this is Christianity. There are some people that are going to apostatize. They know they're saved. They know they're going to heaven. But they're going to let off on their stand. And pretty soon, they're going to change direction. And uh, that's going to be true. Uh, and uh, so be careful. Uh, be sure you uh, hang on to the faith that you have. Believe what you believe. And keep on going, yeah. I don't know. Uh, James gives you a good idea on what a waver, waving is. Uh, James chapter 1 and verse number 6. Waver, oh yeah, yes, yeah. And in this case, it's talking about faith, but are we using the waver? Okay, but let him ask in faith, not wavering, for he that wavereth. Is like the wave of the sea, yeah, driven with the wind, yeah, tossed to and fro. See, which way does it move? You don't know which way it's going to go, yeah. You know, people get lost in the sea and they'll be hanging on in their life vests. And they might be swimming towards a certain island, but they end up in the wrong place. They drift away from the, their direction, yeah. If you have a faith that, that is not secure, not sure, you don't know how you got saved, you're not sure if you're saved, you actually are not going to end up the way we hope you would like to end up, yeah. So now, it's about time to see what the change Faith waver. Hey, hang on to that what you believe. You know, Jesus is true today as the day you got saved, yeah. 
they ought to, I still ought to be true. You know, the day I got saved, I actually wept. You know, I used to say, I'm a man. And men don't weep, but men, good men do weep. You know, their souls will be saved. Uh, if you need to weep for well, those souls, do it. And then uh, you get emotional because of the blessings, too. And uh, so the day I got saved, I wept. And, uh, you know, that was the day uh, of my cleansing. And uh, I still remember as good as uh, back then. So it's a little bit of a little bit of a Still the same. And then back at uh, Hebrew 10, 24. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Yeah. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
has to do with uh, the urge of one to another to pursue a certain course of conduct. Yeah. Uh, then, uh, you know, people say thank you. I think we we lost that uh, thankfulness uh, in our nation. Yeah, oh, he don't care, so that's a he care. Oh, You know, I remember that. Actually, all uh, the If you see, see somebody uh, pray for the food, yeah, they're thanking the Lord for the food. And then you will remember that uh, that this person prayed, yeah. He would open the exhortation can cover so much, and uh, even giving. Now, how did I start giving? I got saved and don't have no verse of scripture, and I saw people putting money in the offering plate. So I. This is the 1970, probably 75 or around there. I just recently got saved and they were putting money in the offering plate. So I got my hundred dollar bill out and then put it in and then the, the treasures that came back to me. What's this anyway? 
And then I figured, they don't want my money. And then I, th I thought you people would put money in the plate. I said, and then she said, there's one called a tie and the other is the offering. Which one is it? So I guess it's the tie. And uh, gave me an envelope, write your name on there, put the amount, and then put it back in. And uh, just the trouble of giving. I thought they didn't want my money for a while. There are proper ways to do it, yeah. And I learned to do it. And you just get encouraged by somebody doing it, yeah. I, she's not that far. Are they buying God or something? You know, you're, you're not saving one of what they do. No, you're not buying God. You're saved and you know you appreciate it, so you give. And uh, that's, uh, that's it will be exhortation, yeah, and jundo. And then people open their Bible and then they're looking at yours and it doesn't read the same. You know, back into the city, the part of the correction, there's a guy that was reading. And then this other guy said, what you're reading doesn't sound the same. <laughs> and he looked at it and then uh, he said, let me have that then, he got the right one. You know, even those people know what kind of reading we do. They, they, we use King James. Amen. And then they, if it's wrong, they'll correct each other. And so that's uh, just a exhortation to do something. And then uh, love, I love, uh, uh, actually love, I love the church, yeah. Psalm 27. He ought to love the church. He ought to love fellowship. Psalm 27 and the verse number 4. One goes on one page the other, so I'm going to have to do some flipping. And one thing have I desired of the Lord. Have you ever desired something? He said, one, there's one thing I have desired, that I will seek after, and that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Yeah. Mm. You know, that's a lot to say yes. in that just one verse, yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, it's good, yeah. Church, yeah. This is that's all it is about here. You behold the beauty of the Lord. How how is it? You know, you learn something about him, yeah. At church, you learn something. Uh, how the Lord feels for you. Uh, what we're going to see in heaven. What is it going to be like? You know, there's going to be the rewards uh, given out for the work that we have done. And then the, and then the Bible talks about our tears uh, being wiped away. And no more death, no more pain. You know, I might have a little pain on you, but that's going to be gone. Hey, we look at the Lord and uh, what a beauty He shows us, uh, to us. And uh, we can uh, say, enjoy Him. You know, He's a person, not an it. You know, back in the, 
Meniere's there's a guy running for the tribal uh, presidency, and uh, he he said, or he might have said that afterward. Uh, he said these Christians go to a house to find their God, and he said we don't have to do that. I even went further. I don't have to find a house. I, he's in me. Yeah. He's in me. Yeah. <laughs> if you're saved, you know that the spirit, the, the, the God of heaven is in you. Yes. And this guy is uh, talking about going to find some sticks and stones and uh, some corn pile and put it under a tree or something. And hey, we don't have to do that. Hey, you can find the Lord here. Yeah. Uh, where you are, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. this is where uh, all that kind of people shows up and then uh, encourage one another to grow in the Lord, even yet they die. And then to inquire in his temple, yeah, I did that. But now I just kid you what no, she ate over to me. Hebrew 2 9, I like this one over here. Hebrew 2 9. Uh, I used to think, uh, you know, the Lord Himself uh, is, a, is a, a thing to talk about there. And uh, it's been a while that I, I have known this verse. I have read it, and then I, I just like it, you know. He's no stranger to church at yeah, Jesus. Right. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 9 through 12. But we see Jesus, who was made a little, a little lower yes. than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Did you know that he uh, actually tastes of death that you could die? And he wants to deliver you. He wants to save you. Verse 10. For it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons unto glory. Think about glory. Uh, uh, something that we don't see. Uh, we, we're going to be consumed with something great up in heaven, yeah. And you're going to see the people that were there for many years, there's known the and all all the will be surprised when you end up there to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering, for. Both he that sanctify and they that are sanctified are all of one. For which came he is not ashamed to call them brethren. Yeah, mm. brethren. Saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church, well, I sing praise unto thee. You know, that, that's the Lord that are singing praise, yeah. You know, singing to the Father, yeah, here on earth now. You know, you don't think uh, the Lord uh, sang. You know, he sang. And that's why we sing, yeah. Uh, you ought to enjoy singing and love the church. And then the next will be refuge, yeah. Uh, you have your problem later in the Bible and the Hajjitan Jutta or uh Hachanahri Naya. Uh you are at loss uh, when you're by yourself and then you wonder how you can make it and everything is not going right. And Isaiah thirty seven and verse number actually one and uh, fourteen, but I think I'll just read it. Verse number 14. And Hezekiah received a letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. And Hezekiah went up unto the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And Hezekiah prayed unto the Lord, saying, O Lord God of heaven, uh, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, that dwells between the cherubims, that thou art the God, even thou alone of all the kingdoms of the earth, thou hast made heaven and earth. You know, this, this guy is praying. Yes. He had to need somebody uh, is going to end the, 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 the Jews. Yeah. I mean, he's the king, he's the leader. Uh, so he went to God, he went to, to a place of refuge where he can lay that uh, request before his Savior, yeah. Uh, you know, he's the creator, yeah. Uh, here it is, Lord, here it is. Uh, we, we need an answer. You know, he ought to do that. He ought to have some, uh, uh, some communication with our Savior, yeah. Uh, hard and late, uh, you see. And uh, now you are in the yard. He has a cry. What's a another part? Oh, even in in present, or he even rejoice because he answers. We have uh, some uh, prayer requests that has been answered in our life uh, uh, in time past and in recent um, times also. And uh, you know, when the, the Lord uh, actually answers you, you will rejoice. Yeah. You, you see Him really. Yeah. And what are Mark 101. And they went into Capernaum. And straightway on the Sabbath day, it used to be the Sabbath day, the day of worship. And then Paul continued that in the book of Acts. Yeah. And the Sabbath day is the day he would uh, enter that building and he would uh, preach. And so the Sabbath day is similar to our church today. Uh, so he entered into the synagogue and taught. Nah. Synagogue, since the synagogue is like a church. He entered into the synagogue and taught, yeah. That's where you taught something, yeah. Uh, you, you, you learn something, I hope you do. If you do not, uh, you might uh, just uh, do it in the review yeah so you can do that uh, just uh, go back to you know some of these uh, most of these messages uh, recently are recorded so if you need uh, a certain uh, message that, that you would like to rehear again I'm sure that Sharon can run that for you and go to Luke 4 and verse number 16 and he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, custom is a habit, yeah. Is your custom to go to church on Sunday? It ought to be a custom, yeah. You just learn to do, yeah. Uh, just uh, come. Even if you're still sleepy, be driving on your way. And then you'll make it, let Raymond drive you. And you can take a nap on the way. And uh, you'll make it here uh, on time. It'll be good, yeah. It was, uh, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. And stood up to read, not at the yard. Uh, stood up to read, yeah. Uh, that's what I do here, uh, stand and read, yeah. Uh, stand before Nehemiah did the same thing, or Ezra. He would stand up and uh, read, yeah. Uh, so, uh, we have uh, our Savior, uh, have uh, uh, His Holy Word, yeah. Uh, 
a written word of God. We read it, and Jesus read it, and uh, the, there's not a case where he was reading out of Isaiah. And uh, so he, he would go to the church house and then uh, read, and then he would take, teach. So every day, they are in the Amen. Okay. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, Ria. Oh. They will be praising thee. Oh. You know, if they are blessed, why are you going to sing, Ria? They can watch it low, eh? Ben, no, I'm trash all this, Ria. They won't sing. Because you're blessed. And uh, you know, this morning I was uh, sitting down there uh, and actually standing also. Uh, I heard the singing, uh, you know, it's good to hear singing, yeah. I want to be part of it. I want to sing also and enjoy what, what we have to offer, yeah, in the church. And that's where it is. It's a blessing. You know, you can be blessed with some uh, answers to prayer, and then you can be blessed with uh, with uh, much more than uh, what we're reading. Yeah, so prob uh, actually Luke nineteen going to skip uh, letter F yeah, skip stay. He talked about the uh, day that worship uh, must worship in the spirit. But here in the, the next one is going to Luke 19, verse 46. Only. All right, saying unto them, It is written, My house is a house of prayer, yeah. but ye have made it a den of thieves, yeah. Hey, we're not here to steal your money. If you tie your money, we put it in the bank, yeah. If you put, give your offering, it's, somebody texts us out of uh, the Carolinas and wanted the, the offering from, uh, I think it was the last, uh, this week or this month. Because a person is a church member, wants to know if the money came in or something. And now it's good to be part of something so you can uh, be away and yet find out if your money got here. And you'll do, you'll be glad that it got here. Oh, it's working, yeah. Missionary support and other little things that, that we have to take care of. So it won't be so much you need that. Like what you live with the church, to even yet it. And how's we are? Is that spread? Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you again for this hour. Bless our day. We need to talk with you. We'll talk with you. Thank you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. This is one and three. And then the third verse in that book. Praise, praise, praise. 